Hey everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today is April 21st and I figured I would start filming just a life main channel vlog because I think I'm going to be upgrading my bedroom or actually finally decorating my bedroom in this house in this video. So first of all, I'm going to start with some packages that I got. I got a package here and I have no idea what it is and it says my channel name on it and not my real last name. So I'm not sure what that is. And then I also ordered a toaster. <laughs> I got a toaster because during the move, my toaster oven was accidentally thrown away and I used it like every morning. <laughs> so that sucked, but I can't afford like a whole toaster oven right now. I could use my regular oven, but I just got a regular toaster instead. And the reason I wanted it is because it looked like vintage. So it's like this nice like minty green color and I literally just got it to toast bread and to toast my bagels in the morning because I love bagels and I haven't been able to eat any because I didn't have a toaster. <laughs> now let's open this package. It says to open up here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, yep. I had the brand Zotos Professional, I think that's how you say it, contact me and they were like, we saw your bleaching video and we wanna send you our like strengthening hair treatment line that we have um, just to try out. So they sent me a box full of a bunch of stuff. So this is like the Ultra Bond line and it's supposed to make your hair healthier. So it comes in like a whole kit. So this is the number one shampoo, Bond Synergy Cleanse. And then we have the Bond Synergy Conditioner. Then this is the Bond Synergy Deep Treatment. Then they sent me some toners, Pearl Blonde Toner and the Silver Ash Blonde toner. I didn't know that they were going to be sending that to me. So this is something that I can try in a future video. And this is cream lightener in a box. And then they also sent me some developer, little developer bottles. So we have some 20 volume and some 10 volume. They also sent me powder lightener. Wow. I was not expecting them to send me that whole line. Thank you so much, Sotos. Um, I've actually used this brand before. So this is gonna be really, really fun. Um, I'm definitely going to use those in a future video, maybe a future vlog where I touch up my blonde because as you can see, my natural hair is growing in. My natural hair is that darkish color. So definitely need to redo my hair. Yeah, I wanted to start filming because I just kind of wanted to show you guys my little toaster. And also I got paid today and I have a little bit of extra money. So I'm going to finally buy a bed frame for my bedroom a shelf for the wall and a projector because that is the main three things that I wanna buy for my bedroom because I want to make my bedroom like a vibe space. So I'll keep you guys updated later when I buy all of that and I'll kind of show you what I'm working with. I know I look like a mess, but maybe you like that sometimes. So I got some stuff delivered for my bedroom makeover that I'm going to be doing in this video. This video may be kind of long. I will have timestamps down below. If you guys just want to see like the tour at the end, you can go and watch that. But uh, here's a little haul. I ordered like $400 worth of stuff. Um, I have a bed frame that I ordered. It's sitting back in that big box. It was so heavy. I had to like drag it into the front door and I cannot move it any farther than that. So I bought a black bed frame with like a canopy frame because I love canopy beds. And then I have a box here full of some stuff and then I have some more stuff being delivered tomorrow and the rest of the day today. So I have some curtain string lights, which I plan on actually hanging from the canopy post of the bed. I have two packs of different like vines and flowers. So these are wisteria ones. These are the same types of flowers I have down here in my living room. And then I also just have like these dark green vines. I have this pack of Monarch butterfly stickers. Well, they have like little stickers with them. They look like this and you put the little sticker on this side and you can stick it to your wall. 
Um, I've just had an obsession with like butterflies and praying mantises and just like bugs in general these past couple of months. Like I just love watching videos about bugs. I don't know why. I've always wanted to raise caterpillars into butterflies and I feel like that's something I wanna do this year. So I'm just obsessed with butterflies and I wanted to get these to stick to the wall. But also another thing that I have been enjoying for actually a couple years now is like taxidermy and i've always wanted to buy taxidermy pieces of like bugs and like a bat i really want a taxidermy bat like in a frame but i just haven't really needed to buy one until now because i have a house to decorate so i actually got my first little taxidermied butterflies and i'm so happy with it i want to buy most of my taxidermy stuff from like etsy but this one had one day shipping and it was just like a listing on Amazon where you just get random, two random butterflies in a frame. So I got the lime butterfly and the great new wob butterfly. And these are real butterflies that were ethically sourced and they were taxidermied and put into a frame. And like, they almost don't even look real. It looks like it's just like a picture, but these are real butterflies. Like I can see all of their features. These are real bugs that were once alive. And they're from bugsdirect.com. And it says, it is important for us that we support the people who are indigenous to butterfly rearing countries and work to a strict code of ethics, both in terms of wildlife conservation and the use of sustainable materials. Fair trade is important to Bugs Direct and we want to fully support the countries where we work. We are a small team of entomology and enthusiast and artist our handmade display pieces combine butterflies insects and natural history and unique home decor so if you go to bugsdirect.com you'll probably find some more stuff i haven't actually gone to their website yet so i'm definitely going to be doing that but i wanted to stick these like fake butterflies around the wall of the taxidermy pieces that i buy so in these next coming months i want to try to buy more taxidermy pieces to put on my bedroom wall and just really make it look like a little museum i guess i'm like super excited about that like i've always i've wanted taxidermy and i finally decided to buy one and then lastly out of this package i bought a duvet cover set and i got this like sage greeny color like a dark green color this is like my favorite color right now i love this color i don't know why like i've been just obsessed with it since moving into this house and this color goes really well with the colors that my walls are painted like you can see they go pretty well together. So I think I'm just really, really loving this green and I'm literally putting the screen everywhere. This is a duvet cover. It also comes with two pillow covers. Um, I have my duvet washing in the washing machine right now and I'm gonna use that to stuff inside of this duvet cover. And I also have some sheets and pillows and stuff coming tomorrow. So my dad is actually gonna come over tomorrow and help me set up my bed frame and completely redo the room. So today I need to prepare and clean the bedroom. So let's go up to the bedroom and I'm gonna show you what we're working with. Okay, so I'm about to show you guys my bedroom. Please don't judge. Um, I literally still have stuff not even unpacked from when I moved into this house. Uh, I have done nothing to this bedroom other than build this little like storage thing to hold my nail stuff. That's literally all that I've done in here. And it's a mess. I'm so excited to completely redo this. Here is my crazy messy bedroom that I literally just sleep in here and then I leave. <laughs> so that's why I just, there's a bunch of random stuff everywhere. We just have like clothes, a bunch of drinks and stuff over here. Some boxes, some clothes, a lot of clothes over here. That's like always my biggest issue with my bedrooms is just not doing laundry because I hate doing laundry. A bunch of clothes here. And then up here on the dresser is just some stuff like from the move that I just stacked on top of the dresser and still haven't even unboxed it. Closet's pretty neat. I feel like I don't really need to show that. These are my dog's crates with some clothes on it. Um, here are my dogs <laughs> and my bed. And then I have all my crochet stuff over there because the last time I was crocheting, I was doing it in bed. So let me try to explain my vision for this room real fast. So. What I plan on doing is moving the bed and the dresser and flip them. So I wanna put the bed on that side of the room and I wanna put the dresser against this wall because I bought a projector and I want to put the projector on that wall right there to point it to this blank wall over here. There's gonna be a shelf on the wall holding the projector and everything. I'm gonna put pictures on the walls. The dresser's gonna have my altar on it. I haven't even set up my altar yet. And then this is going to be moved over there beside the bed. So it'll definitely make more sense once everything is like kind of out and moved around. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to start cleaning. So I'm just gonna start cleaning this entire room and then tomorrow we're gonna get started with the decorating.
The rest of my packages for today just got delivered, so I'm gonna show you what I got. But I just finished prepping the room. So the floor has been completely cleaned and vacuumed. The stuff that is still up here is things that I'm using for the decorations and like stuff for my altar. So that's all staying up there until we do everything tomorrow. And then, yeah, everything is clean. Okay, I needed to take a shower because I was sweating so much after doing that. But I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that was delivered today. This baby right here is the one that kind of inspired like the whole transformation of this room because I've always wanted a projector. And I don't have a TV in here. I was never plan planning on putting a TV in here just because I didn't feel like I needed one, but I have been wanting to spend a lot more time up here because I feel cozy in the bed and listening to music or watching something on the projector in this room would just be so, so nice. So uh, the box was like super destroyed. So hopefully the projector is okay. I got some thumbtacks that have hooks on them. This is actually quite possibly my favorite thing out of all of this. These bed sheets, stunning, literally so, so stunning. It has like different types of wildflowers on it so so beautiful it's the brand wake and cloud and this is a four piece set with a flat sheet fitted sheet and two pillowcases so pretty and it's gonna go so well with the comforter oh, i'm so excited and we have the curtains that i bought to hang on the windows of course it's like white lace curtain rods to hang up the curtain and then i bought this floating wall shelf and this is what i'm going to use to put the projector and the playstation on hold the projector to face it towards the wall because I have nowhere else to put it so I got a little shelf for it so there's a couple more things coming tomorrow like pillows and like the canopy going over the bed and I'll show those when those come tomorrow but tomorrow is going to be the big transformation upgrade day so I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow Hey guys, so we're taking a quick break because my dad forgot to bring the stud finder and he needs a stud finder to hang up the shelf. But I got the rest of my Amazon order and I wanted to show you what I got. So I got the canopy, the white canopy that's gonna go over the bed. And then I got two pillow covers for like accent pillows. This is the first one for an accent pillow case. And here's the other one. I don't know if they're gonna go too well together. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this material. This almost seems like the material of like the pillows that you'd put like outside, this polyester. But it's so, so pretty, but I don't know if these go well together. So I may just do this one and use this one some other time. So here is what the bed looks like right now. We haven't finished doing the post of the bed just because we're kind of doing some stuff in this area. But I hung up the the vines and the flowers. I thought I had more wisterias than I actually bought, so I just used the extra vines that I bought around these poles. We're setting up the projector now. Um, that's the reason why we're building this shelf. So we're planning on putting the shelf right here up against this little wall, and it's going to point right there. Hopefully it points pretty well, and that is where the projector is going to be pointing, and then my altar is going to be there. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my dad to get back, and we're just going to keep going. Come on, Lisa, you can it's do heavy. it. It's heavy. You can do it. <laughs> You're pushing me into the window. It's fine. We're not going to keep you moving up and up. That's what the tape is for.
caught some skeeters. <laughs> caught some skeeters. Alright guys, here is what we are working with so far. I've been doing this for like five hours now, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, but the dogs love it. We have the pillows and everything, flowers, the canopy bed, and the shelf over there is what's gonna hold the PS4 and like my controllers and stuff. It was gonna hold the projector, but the projector was literally taking up this entire wall. It was way too big in that spot. So what me and my dad did was we zip tied it to the top of the bed it's pretty secure up there. If you guys have any other ideas, feel free to let us know. But for right now, it's zip tied there and it projects a screen onto the wall. Okay, it's later the same night and it's like midnight. Um, I really need to go to bed. So extremely tired right now. But can we talk about how absolutely beautiful this background is? So I um, am not gonna do a tour yet because I'm not done with the other half of the room. I need to organize and clean the other half of the room. And once that's all done, I'll do tour during the day tomorrow and then also tomorrow night when I can finally get my PlayStation hooked up to the projector and everything will be good and I can finally start watching stuff on the projector. Spectra has been loving this bed. <laughs> like she keeps jumping up here and like running around and then like running down the hallway and like meowing. I think she's really, really enjoying the new room. Um, she's been trying to destroy the lights and everything. So hopefully she doesn't destroy all the things that I just did, but I am so incredibly happy. Like I walk in here and I immediately just feel so bright and happy. Um, I did do I did do a cleansing with some sage after I decorated everything and I cleansed my altar. Um, I did a protection spell on my altar and everything. So I did that off camera because I just don't really feel comfortable doing that kind of stuff on camera. But I'm really, really happy with the way that my altar came out. It feels so much more personal than my last one did. And I'm just so, so happy. So let's just get um, right into the tour.
guys, so it's the next morning and I am going to show you what the room looks like during the day. Here we are, here is this beautiful room during the day. Sorry if you hear little pitter patters, all the dogs and cats are walking around. But I'm just going to give a little short tour of the room. Not gonna go into too much detail or anything. If you guys would like a future in-depth tour, let me know, but I do plan on doing more things to this room in the future. So first we have the bed, put the canopy, the curtain lights, the vines, the wisteria flowers, the all around the bed. This beautiful duvet cover, I'm obsessed with it. I slept in it last night. It is so, so soft and cozy. And these bed sheets are literally everything I could have asked for, for the price. They feel amazing quality. And I like that the pillow matched pretty well, even though it was from two separate brands. I put my little squishmallows over here. I have more squishmallows, but those are the ones that I like the most. <laughs> so over here, I put my affirmation cards of the day. I have my humidifier. Um, I have really bad allergies, especially this past year, and this humidifier helps me breathe a lot better at night, and it helps my throat when I wake up in the morning, and I love it. This nightstand is super old. I got it from Rooms to Go Kids when I was literally like five years old, so the top of it is like super just destroyed so I covered it with this altar cloth that I had. Finally got the PlayStation up there. These little postcards wall art things were sent to me from one of my subscribers named Hillary so thank you so much Hillary. I know you're watching this. Um, these are absolutely stunning and I recommend anybody buy these like wall collage kits on Amazon. They literally just change the space so much. I forgot to mention over here I hung up and sorry the lighting is so bad because it's so bright but I hung up my moon prints in this little section right here. I felt like it fit pretty well. I put my extra vines there. And then here is what the curtain looks like. It's just this pretty like lace. Over here I have my altar. If you guys would like me to do an in-depth altar tour, definitely let me know. I'm not gonna go too into detail, but this is where I do my just tarot and magic work over here. It's just, it's so incredible. I love it so much. I have the dog's crates right here. I know I can't open those two drawers, but I actually don't really use these drawers that much anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. But the dogs like sleeping beside each other in their crates, so I was going to put one there and one here, but I just feel bad separating the dogs. So if I ever need to use those drawers, I'll just move the dog crate out of the way, but I don't really need it at this moment. Up here, I hung up some of the taxidermy and just photos that I love. I plan on getting more taxidermy similar to this and putting it just all around this wall. So eventually this wall should be full of just beautiful art prints. This one was a gift. And then I hung up my remaining vines up there and the projector sits perfectly on this wall right here. You can see I have the projector <laughs> zip tied up there but it's working really well. I bought like a 10 foot HDMI cable. You could probably see it up there. Um, it's hitting pretty well, I would say. That's connecting to the PlayStation all the way over there. And then I have this cord with like the lights and everything kind of hiding behind right there so you can't really see it that well. And over here is just kind of the boring stuff. I do want to decorate this wall eventually, but I don't have anything to put on that wall yet. But here is just my little vanity where I do my hair and my makeup. And then this is where I store all my nail and makeup stuff. I have never been so happy with something that I have done probably ever in my life. These past couple of years, I've really found my style and what I love. And the two styles that I love the most is kind of like gothy vintage and cottage core. And I tried to incorporate those together to like a witchy vintage cottage core style room. And that's what I hope to be able to do for this entire house. I would love my entire house to have this vibe with just like plants, even if they're fake plants. Um, I need to do a lot more research on real plants before I decide on buying those, but bugs, flowers, just beautiful colors, but I also love like gothic black and stuff. So I tried to mix it all together into one room and that's what I kind of did in my office and now it's in here. And the next thing I plan on decorating, I think is my dining room. Um, the next paycheck I get, I'm planning on buying like my dining room set and doing the dining room. So stay tuned for a future video on that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to stay tuned for like my future decor videos. But I finally have settled down in this house and I felt like it was finally time to start a decorating. And I have not left this room since I decorated it yesterday. I have been laying in this bed all day. Um, I have the cord on the way now and I'm about to start watching Heartstopper on my projector screen. Read, I mean, I have my Kindle 
over here and I've just been like reading, watching YouTube videos, just relaxing. It's been such a good time in here, especially when it gets dark. The vibes in here are just amazing. I mean, as you can see, that's what I see before I go to bed at night. That's so cozy and I just, I love it. So I hope you guys like it too. This whole room thing was kind of inspired just by what I've seen others do and also Bridgerton. I know this room uh, doesn't look anything like a Bridgerton bedroom considering that's like what the 1800s, but I have been obsessed with Bridgerton. I'm about to start reading the books. Season two literally like just took over my world and the curtains and just the wispiness of this room was inspired by Bridgerton with a hint of my style. So I know it's not the same, but it's very similar to me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my Patreon down below. On Patreon, you get early access content like photos, videos, you get added to a Discord community. Everyone on Discord saw pictures of this room before you guys did here on YouTube. I also have my social medias down below as well if you guys would like to follow me on there. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.